Nothing is more important in a relationship than the bond that is between the two people. Nothing is more important than honesty. I think true, honest friendship. Respect. Respect. Communication. Communication. Good communication. Communication. A lot of couples ask me what's the most important part of the relationship. And they assume that I'm going to say sex. But actually, it's communication. Sex is just another way of communicating. But it's that ability to relate to one another and talk to one another every day about everything. And that's not an easy task when two people don't agree. When I think about conflict, I make a distinction between conflict of interest on the one hand and conflictual behavior on the other. A conflict of interest is simply a difference between partners. It may be as simple as one wants to go to this movie, another wants to go to that, or more dramatic, like one wants a second child, the other doesn't. That's a conflict of interest. Conflictual behavior, on the other hand, is how people interact with one another, like their argument, their disagreeable attitude, their hostility, even their violence toward one another, usually in the context of a conflict of interest. It's funny, when you, when you argue though, with people, there really aren't many thoughts going through your mind. All you, all you know is you're just you're kind of you're angry and pissed off. And, and, and I mean, you know, if, if anything, you're just not thinking straight. And that's, that's why arguments get really bad. Yeah, when I'm arguing, I get really into it. I get really mad. Um, so basically, for those, however long those moments are when I'm arguing, I, I, feel, I feel really mad. I, I feel hatred. <laughs> Most of the time, it's not even about what I'm arguing about. I mean, I'm not the type of person to really want to get my point across. I just want him, I just want him to know how I feel. I'm stubborn, so I don't, I don't usually want to lose or, or bend sometimes. But also, too, there's that fear of, losing the person. Usually I'm the one to withdraw. I just shut down. And I listen. And I listen until she says enough that it, <laughs> I've had it. I don't want to listen anymore. <laughs> that uh, brings the argument. That's really where it, there's no turning back for me. Once I get rolling, I've got to win. Conflict is extremely important in relationships, in part because conflicts of interest are always going to be there. Um, so unless you married a perfect clone of yourself, you're going to have conflicts of interest with your partner. So it's just by the very nature of the situation, there's going to be conflicts of interest. And so it's important to relationships about how those conflicts are worked out. Uh, if they're worked out in a productive way, then people can feel good about resolving the conflict and coming to some uh, solution of it. If it's worked out in a, um, in a not very good way, if it's worked out in a way that's frustrating or leads to resentful, resentment for one or both, then there can be an accumulation of negative feelings toward one, uh, one another that can eventually uh, deteriorate the relationship. Probably the first six months of our relationship were exceptionally good, probably too good to be true. I started feeling like he was getting annoyed. Like if I came home and I had, um, I had a complaint about something at work or a professor or just some little tiny thing that I just, that before I would mention he would just be really sympathetic about it. Now it just felt like I was burdening him with these trivial problems. And so soon I just stopped talking about um, whatever was troubling me or even if I had like a really good day, I just, I felt like um, he was kind of indifferent. And then when things started turning badly, uh, we really didn't communicate unless we were arguing because uh, I would try to avoid arguing so much that um, if something was wrong, I would just end up bottling it up. Or I would just, if he was doing something that I really just couldn't stand, I would just turn the other way. I didn't even bother mentioning to him anymore that it bothered me until we were already in an argument and then suddenly like, 50 things would come out, and he would be like, well, why didn't you tell me before? And I just felt stupid, because it was like, I, I thought it was a really stupid question at the time. I was like, how could I have told you? You don't even look my way. Or even if I had told you, we would have, we would just be arguing like we are now. So why should I even bother telling you at that moment? Why don't I just tell you when we're already arguing? Probably our last, like, dozen arguments, we would just be sitting there, and neither of us would say anything. It was like, 
It was like um, we were just being so stubborn that neither of us refused to step down. If he wasn't going to say anything, I wasn't going to say anything. I mentioned to Rich how I needed to get some stuff back from his place, and he was just so rude about it. He made this comment about, "Oh, well, this is why, you know, this is why I'm, this is why I wanted to get away from you, or this is why I kept Dan." When he's angry, he just really doesn't care. He doesn't um, say things to make a point. He says things to hurt you. So, of course, after he made that comment, he just kept on going, and I so upset at that point that I just slapped him just to shut him up. <laughs> I look back at it now and I just really regret it because, because first of all, I was in public. And second of all, I just really felt like he had gotten the best of me. We know that conflict is bad for relationships when it's violent, when it's persistent, when it's repetitious. So we know that conflict is bad for relationships under those conditions. However, because conflict of interest is inevitable in any relationship, conflicts of interest aren't bad for the relationship. And conflicts that are resolved reasonably are probably good for the relationship because they resolve an ongoing difference between partners. That type of arguing is fine. We can discuss it. I think that's good for a relationship in general not just a romantic relationship, but friends, family also, is when you're at a point where you, you're, you're, you're able to just tell each other, you know, look, this is what's pissing me off. You know, even to say, this is pissing me off, and, and not to get to the point where you're just upset or hurt by it. Just be like, okay, well, it's going to happen, and it will happen. It's really important that if you're in a relationship to acknowledge that you're not supposed to get along or agree with every single issue. But in the course of developing a close relationship, I think that many people take the road of acquiescing and avoiding conflict uh, in the service of trying to make sure that the relationship lasts. Actually, that probably will be the demise of the relationship because one person is not really being truthful about how they feel and you don't really get to know each other and you don't get a chance to know how the relationship is going to endure conflict. So conflict in many ways can be good, and it's better to disagree early in a relationship and to see how the other person handles it and to see how you handle it than to assume that, the, that you're going to get along and that's a sign that you love each other or you're a perfect match. Nobody's a perfect match. We couldn't say what was on our minds or we were afraid to. And then we did it. It's like um, one of us wouldn't be listening, or one of us, it would be to the point where we were so angry with each other. Because um, it didn't really matter. Um, it didn't really matter what that person was saying, because we were so hard trying to, um, trying to get out what, whatever we were feeling at that moment, that it didn't matter how the other person.